typical drill sergeant ordered his men to fall in. The squad, composed of volunteers for the test, responded like well-trained soldiers, immediately and without question. On the drill field, the men obeyed his commands accurately and with precision. A second drill sergeant assumed command. He put the squad through its paces capably. This man also proved to be an able drill sergeant, giving precise command. Two hours later, the squad, all except the drill sergeant, now drugged with LSD, again was ordered to fall in. The response was not the same. The squad leader thought it was not necessary for him to dress right. There was much laughter as the group attempted to give expression to inner emotion. This elation was group supported, and an individual who was separated from the group would show severe disturbance. Notice the volunteer who salutes several times. Five minutes later, his severe depression caused the medical officers to end his participation in the test. Response and actions of the drill sergeants who did not receive LSD were as before. But in marching, the drug squad, although starting fairly well, gave a sluggish and ragged performance. After a few minutes, the men found it difficult to obey orders. And soon, the results were chaotic. second drill sergeant, who had performed effectively earlier in the day, was now given command of the squad. He too had received LSD, and he no longer was an effective leader. When an officer ordered the leader to drill the squad, he responded with, you want him drilled? You drill him. Ordered to leave the field, he refused to go. In answer to a direct question, he said he was capable of drilling the men and was instructed to do so. Minutes later, it was evident that he was unable to carry out his orders and he was escorted from the field. We have seen some of the effects of LSD. What effect would it have on a vital operation? 